Wetterleuchtet. Lass mich entkleiden. <lacht> ich würde dich Eva nennen. <lacht> Eva. Eva. Ich glaube, du hast noch nie geliebt. Es klingt verrückt. Es klingt verrückt. Ich weiß es. Es klingt wahnsinnig, aber... la Primera Guerra Mundial. 1914 del director estadounidense Robert Wilson ha estado en el Teatro Nacional de Praga. Soldado Sveik de Jaroslav Hasek y los últimos días de la humanidad de Karl Kraus han servido a Robert Wilson como fuente de inspiración para esta obra satírica y antibelicista cuya trama abarca desde el año del inicio de la guerra hasta sus consecuencias hoy en día. Para esta obra Wilson ha trabajado mucho la comunicación visual utilizando sobre todo el lenguaje corporal y los sonidos. en Praga inauguró una serie de eventos titulada Zonas de Conflicto que ha sido organizada por la Unión de Teatros de Europa. El israelí Ilan Ronen preside esta unión. In 1987, I finished 
walking the Great Wall of China. Uh, I walk with my partner from two opposite ends and we meet in the middle and after two and a half thousand kilometers we say goodbye. And this was end of relationship and end of um, my love story with this guy. And this was really, really very painful moment in my life. So I didn't know how to deal with this. And the only solution for me was if I stage my life and make some kind of biographical the tale, then uh, I will have the right distance from the pain. And now I'm in this point of the sixth biography, which I ask Bob Wilson to do it. And because of my age, which I'm 65, I add also the last period of my life, which will be my own funeral. To work with Bob, uh, it was great because he's very precise. He talks uh, in terms of keeping the tension on stage. He doesn't like anything natural or relaxed. He likes everything heightened. He likes everything created, thought out with a point of view. He's very good at some of these stories of marinas are, are very horrible, but he always sort of flips them and finds the humor in them. In the car, on her face. One of the conditions of this work was that I give him all my um, material, including private letters, stories from my childhood, also the, my work unconditionally, so he can mix them uh, without me, you know, giving any restrictions. You really get the sense when you go through her biography that this was a survival mechanism, almost. You could almost say she saved herself through art, and in a high-minded way, you know, because somewhere deeply, she puts herself in calamity and sacrifices herself, not so much to get love, but really as a true gesture of love and generosity, something that she didn't know necessarily from her life, but in her journey through her life, she came to know, and for that, that's the poetry of the piece. That's the emotional core of the piece. The music, the you know, director of the entire music is uh, Anthony. I introduce also to Anthony the singers from um, my ex Yugoslavia, and he liked them lots. And they're very special, these people, because there is a type of music who is completely um, forgotten. I created the songs in, uh, in the key of, uh, in traditional forms. So it's kind of a traditional perspective, you know, how you would see the life of Marina. This is uh, Bob Wilson's Life and Dead of Marina Abramovic. This is his vision. And I think that he made that this piece is really universal. It's not about me anymore. It's just my name is, is used as a code. It's about the life and death of anybody else in audience coming to see it. It's about truth. Mm -hmm.